forget to um oh we're locked up What is good, guys? Welcome, welcome. We're here this time. Different scenery, Mr. Pabs. We're over on the uh, the ES Hub channel. What an honor, isn't it? <laughs> what a pleasure it is to be on there. Such an esteemed channel, man. I just looked and I was jaw dropped when I saw that 26k followers. <laughs> and uh, I've just seen this is for uh, $4,000, I believe. So this is uh, 4,000 euros, maybe. I'm not sure. But thank you so much for the invite, ES Hub and uh, Major Chief. It is a pleasure as ever to be with you this evening. Oh mate, pleasure's all mine mate, pleasure's all mine. So uh, welcome guys if you are just dropping by. Um, this game that we've got this evening, it's a, an ES Hub uh, Vanguard European League Group B game that we've got going on here uh, between Vitalize Esports and Cryptic Gaming and we casted the uh, the Vitalize guys yesterday didn't we Pablo against, um, the name escapes me now, uh, the Fast Route when the they, they came out 3-0 didn't they, they played uh, very well in that game. And I would say the fastest route was taken by the Vitalize guys because uh, Zero and Vega were on fire. Just uh, unstoppable. At times, just the uh, SMG duo. The, I, I mean, the game's fast. The pace is unreal. But then when you, you add that element of uh, crazy pace players, then it's just another dimension to add. And honestly, just looking through the, the teams and players in this tournament alone, it's, it's, it's going to be exciting. Stacked. I'm really looking forward <laughs> to getting deep in this. Yeah. It is stacked, yeah. Definitely stacked. I've literally just seen uh, another game that's going on, and there's Twiz Rizix Whalers, if you remember from uh, back in the day, uh, pro player back in the day. I think yeah, he, yeah. Play for, he would play Sucre, I think, for uh, Heretics. And, um, I, I, you know, this is the caliber of player we're talking about in this tournament, so. It's going to be juicy, It's going to be juicy. Yeah, guys, yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah, the teams they are starting to lobby up um, we should get an invite through very shortly uh, while they're doing so though we'll have a look um, at what we've got this evening so best of five um, we don't have that map that or that game mode three should i say pabs we've uh, unfortunately we're stuck with uh, just hard point and search so these are the maps that we've got we've got a berlin hard point map one we've then got bocage search and then we have a double hard point for tuscan map three and bocage map four and then uh, we've got a tuscan search to see us out 
on that game five. Any any standout maps for you, particularly Pablo, or are you still fuming that we don't have a uh, third game mode yet? I'll be honest, you know, it's so funny because last year we were like, we were kind of like Control was just such a, an, an, an annoying game mode to have, but now that we haven't got an alternate, it's like, there's so much hard points. It's um, yeah. it, it it must be it must be taxing on the players. And now that they've banned ATS, it must be wild. But uh, obviously, that double header right in the middle, Tuscan and Bakaj, that's the the team with the the most consistency who can stay at that peak level right the way through those two maps. I think is uh, is the team that's going to take this. I honestly can't see uh, any other way. Um, Without that alternate, man, there's no no change up in the game at all, is there? So no change of pace. And we saw last night just how fast, I mean, Major, how fast was that S&D game last night? Yeah, it was like two, two dead within the first five seconds, it felt like, every single round. It's, uh, yeah, it's, it's so much fast pace on uh, on those small close quarters maps, 100%. So it's, uh, we're going to have to try and keep up with everything as we go because the trades and the gameplay is so fast. Yeah, it's crazy fast, and you know, as particularly um, on Bukhar's S and D, you know, the defending team's going to have to be inventive going into this into the next season because the the, the route to to that bomb site along field is just it's it's got no real obstacles. You you kind of spawn and almost on the field, and it's just a quick route to that bomb site. And we've seen that last night over and over again. The attacking team were just able to get bombed down. So. Um, which is usually a great sign, but um, it's just so fast that the defensive team is going to have to be inventive and quick this evening. Yeah, and we saw it yesterday with Vitalize. Like they're, uh, they seem to be quite a smart team when it comes to search and destroy. So uh, we haven't really seen much of these cryptic um, lads play before, but we know what Vitalize are about. They're a strong team, so they'll uh, have to come out firing. That's for sure, won't they? Yeah, hundred percent. I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing Sharp still back on the sticks. Um, obviously, a player we'd seen last season. Um, I think Fatality as well had a really good end to Cold War. Um, obviously, Frank the Tank is a, an unknown quantity for both of us. Um, so yeah, it should be interesting just to see how these guys shape up. And you know, this is only the beginning, isn't it? So, and obviously, we 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 tried to unpack the problems yesterday, but. You know, this is the very, very start of, of our season and there are a million problems to contend with that yeah. that would affect on both player and caster. Yeah, so hopefully, guys, uh, we had an issue yesterday where uh, we kept getting scan and repair trying to get into the game. So, fingers crossed, that isn't going to happen this evening. I'm paranoid that it's probably going to happen. Map one on Berlin Hardpoint, because that's what happened to us uh, yesterday. But, um, yeah, we are starting to see the lobby start to form up. We're still just waiting on those, uh, those cryptic lads um, to join up. But while we wait for them as well, guys, we do have the group... Um, currently as it stands um, so obviously group B this one Cryptic currently sat in fourth um, they have played obviously a lot more games though currently three wins three losses Vitalize haven't lost yet but three and over they are down in seventh so they're gonna have to slowly start to climb their way up but it looks as though uh, they're gonna have some potential good matchups towards the the later stage of the group as well Pablo with uh, team wanted they've uh, won every single one of theirs so to have supremacy so we might be up for some some juicy games in uh, in the coming weeks yeah, I mean, obviously we we've yet to see half of these teams, but the cryptic game and it doesn't really tell us anything, does it? Three wins, three losses, but um, we know Vitalize have got quality and they just need to get those games under the belt. So let's see what they can what they can do tonight. And obviously this is a make or break game in terms of um, where the guys from um, cryptic gaming, we yeah. know this is this is going to put them in a deficit or put them on the the road to a resurgence. So. Fingers crossed for a tighter game than we saw last night. Hopefully it's um, you know going to go all the way. This is what we want, some best of fives. Um, but yeah, we, we're just super excited. I'm particularly excited to see how Ghost picks up. He had a, kind of like a, a weird game last night where he got really important kills. But yeah. His stats looked awful. But when you actually watched what he was doing, he played so well. He's got big kills, anchored really well. He got those like kills in the hill at the very beginning of hill rotation. So I just want to see how, how he gets on. And um, and obviously we know Jay Prof is a talented AR as well. But yeah, it's it, the ones to watch out for at present for us is obviously Zero and Vega. Yeah, no, Zara had a he had a really strong game yesterday. Even the hard point that we saw on it, I think it was Tuscan, when um, the fast route they were slaying them out, they were doing well, but Vitalize was still in the game. So it kind of that game sense and game knowledge definitely seems to show through. And then when you have the likes of Vega and Zyro just starting to slay through people, they really start to snowball hard points like hill to hill, and then it starts to really um yeah really start to snowball for them. And then next thing you know, the game's like almost completely gone for the other team. 
absolutely mate just want to there you go just check things out um but yeah that one of the things we did notice last night about the fast route was that when they did begin they got like 30 40 points clear just because of that gun skill but as soon as the strategy started to be employed by vitalize they started to get map control they were able to push the smgs out further from the hill and just start to be a nuisance and they, they just brought things back and by the end of the, of the game it, it looked like a bit of a spanking but um again we we you can't really get too too mired in the in, in how teams are playing. It's so early in the yeah. in the season, and um, plenty of time for for these teams to, to bed in and and practice and get better. Um, but the the problem is, what are they going to practice? Because right now there are a million problems with the with the meta, with the GAs, with the with the game mechanics, with what you know. It, oh, it, the list goes on. Yeah, it's it's one of those where. It, for us, it makes it more exciting because we can go into games and we don't really have a, an assumption of who is going to come out flying or who's going to come out on top. You might have teams that later on in the meta can be really, really strong, but at the beginning part of the game where it's kind of an even playing field, you've got teams that can come out of nowhere um, and start winning these competitions. Like you mentioned, they're playing for a lot of money for this this tournament as yeah. well for the for the ES Hub. So it's it seems like anyone's game to an extent. Yeah, we saw it. We saw it last year in one of the big tournaments. Um, where, where we would see the, the likes of Ra, who, who did got really deep into the game, Clutch Rain got really deep into the tournament as well. So we've got this that level of team in this tournament. So um, and we know that there are a, a, a mix of players from, from former pros right the way down to kind of like the higher level um, subcom AM. So anything's possible realistically speaking we 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 and we don't know how this game plays out that's uh, my dog zeppelin in the background if everyone uh, just wants to give it a quick hi you replaced the uh, darth vader with a christmas tree as well this evening yeah, yeah. absolutely darth vader got led off into the uh back to the dead star oh um, mate, but yeah. yeah check this out one sec. where is it got an advent calendar look at that Oh, I've never man. seen anything like it. It's absolutely <laughs> wham. Don't show, don't show me things like that, man. I, I, I'm, this isn't muscle. This is not muscle. <laughs> <laughs> That's legit. But um, but yeah, I'm just look. I mean, we've both been we've both been chomping at the bit to get back into this um, into the season. The hot fresh start for both of us. And really, this is obviously Cold War. We started kind of like both of us started many months deep into the into the season so this is our first run from the beginning and i just can't wait and one thing is the passion that is creeping back for this game a little bit you know after last night's cast and then watch the blind game and cast and then i watched a few few back today and i was like you know this is fun to watch though yeah there's I've, no doubt found, about it like although the pace of the game is there in a lot of hard points like, as, a, as a neutral to watch it there is action all the time there never seems to be a, a dead spot unless it's in search and destroy and it's one guy left it, there always seems to yeah. be some sort of important gunfight and a lot of them all over the place yeah absolutely and this is if you're if you're a successful flanker which is it's just you've got to really wear that carefully but if you are a successful flanker <laughs> um this is this is the game for you i mean it's got the pace almost the mechanics of modern warfare but with maps half the size um so yeah this is like this is perfect if you want to if you're someone who can get about the map and and come behind players we saw it a few times last night i'm not sure whether it was uh, rev who tried it himself to try and get behind players and get a two-piece finally to get into the game but it, this is perfect if you're that player if you're the, the one who can get behind the lines but um it, it's a lot to keep up with and there's a lot going on and obviously from that it just the strategies are just gonna have to be um they're gonna to have to be played out a lot quicker. Yeah. It's a less forgiven game. This is definitely a less forgiven game. Yeah, no, 100%. And uh, almost all the guys are in. Guys, we're just waiting on two more players um, and then we should be good to go. But if you are just joining us guys, we've got a, uh, an ES Hub a Group B game here between Vitalize Esports and Cryptic Gaming. And uh, our maps this evening, we'll just switch over to them quickly. The so best of five, but with no third game mode. It goes hard point search, double hard point, and then a search for that game five. So we've got Berlin for map one, Bocage map two, Tuscan for map three, back to Bocage for the uh, the hard point on map number four, and then Tuscan for game five. And obviously yesterday with the uh, with this, the issues that we had yesterday, Pablo, we didn't actually get to see much of the Berlin hard point. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, how the pacing of that one works because it does feel like a slightly slower hard point in comparison to the other maps. Um, yeah, I think... 
obviously the, the map design itself lends to the, the reduction in pace just because you have that uh, it's a much bigger map it utilizes most of the map as well so you do find that hill back towards warehouse right the way across to the, the hill over towards um the ticket station so it, it's a crazy big map anyway and they utilize all of it which slows the pace down a little bit and obviously reduces the amount of interactions but once we're out of that map <laughs> It's it's Usain Bolt time. We are <laughs> a lion carnage. At Mark one, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so um, as mentioned, guys, just waiting a little bit longer. We do so obviously have the table as well. We'll uh, switch over to that one as well. So currently, Vitalize sat down in seventh, but they have won all of their games so far. And uh, Cryptic currently sat in fourth, as you mentioned, Pab. So this one is uh, almost like a make or break map for them to see where they are going to finish. If they win, it might push them up to third. Um, unfortunately, Invincible's down at the bottom, yet to win one, and they've. Uh, We've got a bit of an uphill climb from uh, from this point forward, and then Team Wanted and Supremacy looking very strong at the moment. Um, currently six and O, oh, but that's currently how the group is uh, is looking for us. And yeah, hopefully a, a good game, ready up and coming. Yeah, first. I think um, with Cryptic Gaming right there, you can see they're right in the middle of that 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 league table with three games below that they've definitely played and won against, and three teams above who they've definitely lost against. Um, and this is really their their, their their final match to to just to see if they can tip that balance and um, just you know give themselves that that boost going. I know whether they they they're able to qualify or how the bracket and system works, but this is a make or break game for them. Honestly, they I think you know they're gonna have to pick things up. Yeah, no, 100%, guys. And uh, it looks as though we are now getting the map underway for map number one. So fingers crossed. Please pray with us that we don't get any uh, any COD caster glitches or, uh, or scan and repair. I don't want to jinx it, but it's looking okay, Pablo. We got further than we did yesterday with it. So um, to start, man. yeah, fingers crossed that uh, this one can now get underway without any issues. And it looks as though that is to be the case. So map number one, Berlin Hardpoint. And nope, never mind, because uh, the guys are currently butchering each other, so I think they're on the uh, on the wrong side. So it wasn't our fault this time, but we'll have to... Uh, it likes to keep us waiting this game, doesn't it, Pabs? Mate, honestly, if, if it's not a, a stud to start, is it really Vanguard? That's the question. Yeah. <laughs> um, man, at least it wasn't us this time. I mean, it, it, saying it wasn't your fault that you got scan and repair, but... This game is definitely wild in terms of uh, its problems, but I think we can get past that and just let's, you know, I'm really looking forward to getting into the game. Yeah, 100%. So, yeah, guys, the uh, teams are just lobbying up once again, and uh, there are a couple of predictions going down in the chat. Pab, obviously, we don't really know much of Cryptic, so we can't really go on much of a, a prediction, but are you thinking that Vitalize will still kind of come out strong in this one? 3 0, mate. 3 0, you're going for? <laughs> Four, yeah. After seeing um, Zyro and Vega last night, and then looking at that table, um, I don't know. I just, I just got a feeling that um, Cryptic Gaming are the team that turns up on the day. It's so early, um, and I don't know whether that reflection of how early it is in the game, but um, Vitalize just seems so organised already. Um, it wasn't even that they were slaying out heavily. It was the strategy was just better. Um, experienced players, um, a good team, a good in-game leader. I'm guessing. I'm, I'm, I'm not sure who it is, whether it's Vega or Jayprof, um, but it just seems to be working for them. And it was definitely strategy that was being employed, and not just like, not just gun skill. Yeah, hundred uh, percent. So uh, looks as though take two. I don't want to say third time's a charm because we've only had two attempts at this one. But <laughs> fingers crossed, this one uh, goes <laughs> with uh, with smooth runnings on this occasion. Uh, we are shortly up and running, so we should be good to go and give you guys hopefully some, uh, some fast-paced Call of Duty Vanguard action with Berlin on map one. It looks as though everyone is now in and connected, so I think it was just one of the many glitches that we've seen so far, Pablo, on this one that was uh, causing the issue on that one. But I think yep. now should be good to go. So, yep, we are, and uh, with the Codcaster being backwards, everyone's on the right side, so we're yes. good to go. So map number one underway, Vitalize up against Cryptic and already that P1 we're going to start to see some gunfights going down Frank the Tank what a name and uh, is it Kayser? I'll go with Kayser I think for this one he's uh, managed to grab a couple of kills so some early control coming through from the Cryptic lads three man stack in the hill and they're uh, just opting just to just to throw bodies at this one it seems at the moment perhaps yeah absolutely and I think Cryptic Gaming getting uh, what we could only consider be, to be good side they were they were on the kill maybe two or three seconds before the guys from Vitalize were able to get there but yeah already you can see just how quick this game is and the pace look at the kill feed it just is relentless absolutely relentless major yeah so already 
Some early time for Cryptic. They're already going over towards some potential rotations. And number six, Sharpstar, manages to grab a kill there onto Vega. So they're slowly working their way round. They do have Ghost and, uh, well, what well, was Zyro <laughs> in the uh, in and around the hill, but now he's going to be on his own for the time being. Ghost, he does have Vega coming around the back, but Ghost, a big couple of kills again, and we saw this yesterday, didn't we, Pablo? He, did, he had a couple of games that he didn't get huge num numbers of kills on, but he got the really important ones. Yeah, but this is a player who does that, that kind of, like, Damon Karma dirty work. He doesn't get big numbers, but those kills that he does get are just so vital. Um, always those early entry kills into the kill. He's, he's a good anchor as well, so, yeah, don't expect a big KD out of him, but, you know, he gets the big kills when it matters. Yeah, and Vitalize, they're starting to get a bit of a foothold going on this uh, on this hill. Still 30 seconds left. They've got a big chunk of time on it. It looks as though Frank might potentially try and go for some sort of scrap time here and he's got a big one-on-one -on -one coming up against Vega who's just playing prone for the position and unfortunately for him Frank is going to get some godly timing on him and the, the battle's over towards the new hill already commencing Zyro on a five will get cut down just short of any more streaks and another issue actually Pablo that we've seen a lot of teams have is some of these streaks can actually be less productive than uh, actually beneficial with uh, I think it's the bombing run isn't it that can actually team yeah. kill quite heavily yeah, it's the time, and I think more than anything else, I think it's a little slow to come in. So I think players, you know, think it's about to come in, and then have to wait. And you know, this game's fast. You can't be sitting around waiting for a waiting for a streak to suddenly come in. But yeah, this is why we're seeing this this kind of like suicide bomb and run all the time. Vega does appear to just be picking up now. He was on the struggle bus a little bit early doors, but yeah, just just looks like he's starting to warm up, which could be a, a problem for Cryptic Gaming. Yeah, and as soon as you mentioned that, he must have heard us in <laughs> somewhere because he's uh, just managed to pick up three in quick succession there vitalized they're not going to have the time for the uh for now but vega looking to try and fly through one of the more explosive players on the game that we've seen so far and he's grabbing a couple more kills once again to push himself out to double positive now so vitalized will get that scrap time the lead will be pushed out once again and uh, one of the more money hills that we tend to see here pablo when you get those players locked into position it can be really yeah. difficult to try and break because those players look what they're spawning all the way over the other side of the map they've got to then leg it just to even get close to the hill and this is what we were talking about. This is a large map, and, and thankfully they've utilised quite a large proportion of it. You can see that streak coming in to try and break that hill. But one player at the back, who is it? Ghost, trying to get those important kills. Yeah, and Vega, Zyra, they, they threw two dive bombs at this, which you don't normally tend to see from teams. So they've invested quite heavily in this hill vitalised, and I think they realise the importance of it as everyone goes down on the side of Cryptic. So really clean work from the boys of Vitalize. They are just chopping through these players at the moment. They're on a combined eight streak now with Ghost, Zyro, and Vega. All those purple arrows can't seem to even touch the hill at the moment. They've got such good map control. Again, we we said this earlier on that these teams that maybe haven't got the strategy but got the gun skill do amass early points. But we've seen it yesterday. Vitalized, just so organised, calling in streaks correctly. They've got great, clearly got great comms, and uh, and that's allowed them to take what would have been should have been a really difficult hill to take. And uh, they they've captured almost all that time. That's like forty five seconds gone their way. That's, I mean, hats off to Vitalized to be so organised so early in the season. Yeah, and in terms of investing streaks, that is pretty much the perfect investment you can get. As mentioned, they did put two glide bombs right on the heads of those players in the back, and I think it might have actually been the cause of, of Ghost, who actually did end up, unfortunately for them, spawning up in the back. They get the spawns, and then now they're looking to push this lead out even further. Cryptic, they are on the hill for now, and they're uh, getting a few kills, but Vega and Juicy combine alongside Zyro, and now the last man near is going to be Sharp, so he's going to go down again, so it's going to be Vitalized. Just playing for the breaks, and they're making it work for the time being. Number eight, Frank, the tank, currently struggling at the moment at six and eleven. You can see the slaying at the moment, Pablo, with Zyro currently seventeen and nine. Everyone is pretty much double positive, bar Juicy, who's only ten and eight. But they are starting to run away with this one. Man, Zyro and Vega again, just looking like the team, the, the duo to beat right now. This is the uh, the, the Simp and Abizi of this tournament so far. They are playing so well. And again, we saw that, that huge pace coming out of Cryptic Gaming at the very beginning. But look, they trailed off completely. They can't get the kills. They can't get the angles. It's just, it's it's fallen off for them. And um, we're starting to see what we didn't see yesterday in that first Berlin, which is uh, a dominant performance from Vitalize. Yeah, so... They're a good team on search, Vitalize, from what we've seen. And if they take a hard point off you, you'd anticipate it, the series becomes even more difficult. Kaiser, Sharpster, and Frank, they are going to get kills, though. So this is a bit better from Cryptic. They managed to pretty much wipe out everyone. Juicy's going to be the last one near Vitalize. They're just going to have to regroup for the time being. And good angles being watched by Frank. So he's starting to get a bit of momentum going here. He's now on a three-streak, Sharpster. 
currently combining for five alongside his teammate. But Zyro, is this potentially the entry that they need? Zyro and Ghost get the kills in a round. They just need to try and push the players out now. And eyes up. Can he get the all-important kill in the, in the hill? No, he's going to go down. So that scrap time again will be vitalizes. And as they start to edge towards that 200 point, Pabs, it's going to just be more and more difficult for Cryptic to uh, to try and make something work here. I just think if, they, if um, Frank the Tank's able to win that gunfight against Zyro and able to hold that position just overlooking the hill, then they're, they're still getting the rest of those points in the set for the next hill. He loses that gunfight on steps and, and, it, and it's game over, really. Um, and we're seeing the same problem. And, uh, you know, I wanted them to break that 100 points because yesterday it was it was so demoralizing for the, the fast route. But if the game is still in it, there's still a possibility. Um, we've seen the kill feed flip between blue and purple. So um, let's not call it just yet. Yeah, they've still got... Bit of a cushion here, Vitalize and Cryptic. Although they do have a hill, it is a, a feasible opportunity for them to at least try and claw their way back in. But as Vitalize slowly starts to edge their way to that 200 point mark, it's going to be more and more difficult. And Vega Ooh. is just cutting through Cryptic Gaming at the moment. 23 and 10 again. It's him and Zyro. And on the uh, flip side, from what we saw yesterday, Ghost is contributing as well at 17 and 11. And when you're just roaming over towards the hill and getting cut down one at a time, it can be just so demoralizing. Frank's going to get. A couple of kills, and it will be cryptic on the rotation. That is one thing you've got to give to them, Pablo, is that rotation. They just haven't really been able to uh, like sustain a hold, really, at least for like two or three waves of players. Yeah, that's it. They've just been broken way too easily, and I think that's been reflected in in their, in their, their kills. And the kill feed has been predominantly um, blue, but again, they're still in it. I mean, it's 2 8 one, 12. It's not unfeasible, but right now, just in, in terms of the dominance and the control and map control from Vitalize, um, I just don't think that they're going to be able to, to, to surprise us in any way. Um, and if you're seeing Ghost on a 17 and 4, yeah, it's probably a good sign that, that, that they're playing really well. This is this is dirty, dirty play from these boys. Yeah, and Vitalize, they are putting them to the sword now. They're on a combined 13 streak there between Prof, Zyro and Vega. And now Cryptic, they're going to have to just put all man on deck now because they are throwing everything at this hill just to try and stop any sort of seconds of scrap time going in favour of Vitalize. It looks as though they will get potentially the remaining few seconds or at least contest them, but Ghost picks off three to then stop that from happening. So again, it's going to be another foot race. They have got some players spawning in the back. Kaiser's here. It's going to rest on him, but look at those Vitalize players. They're just so coordinated with the pushes and the breaks. Time after time, they've still got a shift fatality out the back, and he will manage to take one down. He is going to fall, though, and again, it's another clean break from Vitalize. Those Purple Arrow is still spawning close, but Zyro takes down one, takes down two. He is chopping them down one at a time, and I think when they throw somebody on this hill, unless Fatality can go absolutely massive here, this might be the end of map one. Yep, and we can hear the street coming in. Um, it's going to take a massive amount of work for the boys from Cryptic Gamers to be able to hold on to this. They're going to have to fight for scrap time and get hill time, and I just can't see that happening. Man, EU Ghost with that triple was unreal, but look at these two, Zyro and Vega. They've broke 30, you know, and with very little time left, made them, man, we are about to see... An absolute dominant performance from Vitalize Esports. And there it is, guys. That is the game. Map 1 to Vitalize. 250 to 123. What a performance there from those boys. Again, showing us that they are very, very efficient at hard point. We'll see the stats as well from the individual performances as well. But Vega here in the kill cam. Another stellar performance from him with this MP40. And uh, Map 1 done and dusted, Pablo. And the initial thoughts, again, as anticipated, is Vitalize. They're looking very strong. Man, we said it at the beginning. I mean, we've obviously got a little bit of history with them, so we can we understand exactly how they play. Uh, but just looking at that league, you can see that the guys from um, Cryptic Gaming have struggled against three of the, 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 the more capable sides. And they obviously got their wins against the three bottom teams. And I just think the, the pace and power of Zyro and Vega are just going to be too much to handle. And I think if you're seeing Ghost dropping three pieces like that and he's going positive, um, and still doing all that dirty work then it, it's a big mountain to climb but it's not an impossible mountain to climb no um s and d you know we say it's a fast paced it's super fast paced in this variant but you know anything can happen in s and d this is what we've learned over the last seven months with uh, with call of duty is that s and d can be a completely level playing field and if you are a quick player with great gun skill you can you can own the map yeah 100 percent. and map two is going to be that bocage search and destroy so we're going to have a lot of trades a lot of fast gameplay again pablo and i suppose now this is not do or die really for uh, for the cryptic lads but you do feel it's going to be a very very important map um in their regards just to make sure to see if they can try and just gain something back 
to uh, get a bit of composure and potentially go into map three and map four, which are going to be hard points once again. Um, but it's going to be important games for them nonetheless. Yeah, 100%, man. And I think going into Bukhaj, they just got to reset. They've got to just clear the slate, clear the mind of that previous game and just go into it with a, a fresh approach. Um, we're going to see a lot of action over towards Plat, over towards that uh, that field bomb site. Um, a lot of a lot of kills going down in and around Grannies. Um, it just, it just, uh, no one even appears to be wrapping back to the other bomb site. So it's just, uh, it's almost again. I feel like um, it's almost like um, what was the map that they brought back from uh, from the older COD last season, Cold War standoff. It's it's got like standoff yeah. vibes for me, and that like everyone would push a bomb site, and it would become almost TDM over towards that bomb site. But one thing we're going to see, Major, is that bomb is going to be going down. So bomb high control is going to be a feature of this map if it stays in the rotation um, through the season. Yeah, and. Uh... You mentioned you referred to standoff as well. Like the first blood, the time on first blood sometimes was so quick, even without, like, we didn't even see snipers last year, um, to the point where it was just an AR, just instantly off spawn, around the corner you go, and it feels like the first pick was just instantaneous almost sometimes. Yeah, well, we said this yesterday as well. We said that, you know, the team that's going to be the most well-practiced, the team that's going to get to those headies and to those positions first and be the most accurate are going to get that first blood. This map's so small and so fast. We're seeing, you know, one and two pieces almost out the blocks. It's, it's crazy how quick this uh, this map is. And, you know, I, I, we know... And here's, here's another feature to look for. Vega, man, he dropped six kills yesterday in S&D in a team that dropped probably like four five for every other player so they're dropping like 20 kills and oh you know vega was like breaking into granny's breaking in as that entry man and just getting kills two pieces all the time so as a feature for this map you know just look out for vega and um and just see how he performs and whether the boys from cryptic are going to be able to handle that yeah you definitely feel that if they don't silence them here in search and destroy that, that uphill battle might just be a bit too steep potentially for Cryptic. I don't want to count them out just yet, um, but they are just looking very, very strong at the moment, Vitalize. We are now hopping into map number two, guys, so hopefully, again, fingers crossed. <laughs> I don't want to assume anything yet with uh, with the issues that we have with this Call of Duty, but it looks as though Bokaj search is loading in and slowly getting underway. So as soon as that is the case, I will switch us over, and it looks as though we're good to go. So sure that everything is up and running okay and i think we are good to go pablo so map number two bocage the bright lights are and back. yeah the, the light of jesus christ himself is back <laughs> and uh cryptic gaming they are going to be on the offense to get us going here and uh we didn't really see many changes in terms of strats yesterday up against vitalize but good start from kaiser he manages to grab the first blood so already i suppose that will add a bit of momentum towards cryptic here and his vega is right round the corner here from a couple of players. He's just playing his life. But he spots Vitality. He gets man manages to grab one shot. So that is going to be there for the trade. So good efficient work from Cryptic. We'll leave them. Still one man up for the time being. But you just feel with these players just waiting around the corner. It's almost inevitable, Pablo, that there might be at least one, potentially two kills for Zyro here. Yeah, Zyro, if that's the one player, maybe with Vega, that could potentially get that kind of kill at that kind of pace. Ghost on your hand, not so sure. And you can see it right there. Zyro, ooh, he's get the two he drops him, traded out. Uh, now, 1v1, Sharpster up against Ghost. Ghost just playing it passively at the moment. This might come back to bite him here at the moment. Surely he heard the door there from Sharpster. Now, it's just going to be down to him to try and plant the bomb. Is he planting the bomb or planting the sun? Yeah, <laughs> it's as though our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ is on that A-bomb site. So the bomb will go down. Sharpster is going to manage to get it down towards B. So Ghost... He's going to have to try and retake. He will have to reposition as well just to try and locate him. And I suppose half the battle now will at least be trying to find him. This time, he's actually going to stick this. I'm not sure if Sharps is going to realise he's going for it. And he needs to check it quickly because the progress... Oh, no, he's actually hopped off of it. He's not my mistake, he hopped off of it. Oh he's going for it again, though. Oh, no, this might come back to bite him. Are the shots good enough? They oh. are. So they are going to manage to grab the first round. Cryptic very, very close, though. <laughs> for, for a second, then, they might grab the defuse. But Vitalize just hopping to... Uh, just opting to hop off the bomb. It's actually going to uh, come back to bite them in the end. Oh, my go stay on, stay on, please stay on. <laughs> and it was like, he, he's just got enough time and then he hops off. You man, the, 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 the psychology in that, that moment is wild. 
Yeah, so a good start though for the lads of Cryptic. Just about managing to get him off that bomb. We go in towards round two and a good round from Sharpster. Three in a row now for him. So potentially a glide bomb on the card for him if he can stay alive but already. Again, the first blood is instantaneous and Ghost is going to get it. Frank is going to manage to trade out shots and now on a four. He's only one away from the glide and he's going to manage to potentially get these streaks so, so quickly. Right though, is riddled with vitalized players. The remaining two now, Juicy and Vega. And oh, where are they going to try and take this bomb? It looks as though now Vega is just going to try and wrap this all the way round. And Juicy spots one sharp start. No more streaks for you, mate. He is gone. And it looks as though Vega might get a free kill as well. So they flip the round on its head almost instantly. And now, Pablo, it's Frank the Tank all on his own. Takes one down. But he's still got a 1v1. Yeah, it's a huge moment right now. Vega versus Frank the Tank. And this is uh, going to be home. Vega predictably there with the kill. Unbelievable play. And again, we're seeing this this from Cryptic Esports. They, Cryptic Gaming, man. They went into that 3-2 position one more time. And they've got that, that potential to take this s &D all the way. But um, it's just come down to that 1v1. And unfortunately, you know, Vega is the fastest SMG we've seen so far this season. Yeah, and... Sometimes in Search and Destroy, it can come down to those really fine margins, those 1v1s. And now we've seen kind of one for each team here. So we are now back to a level playing field. And if you did miss map number one, guys, Vitalize, they took it 250 to 123 on a Berlin hard point. This is now map number two. And already, first blood, there it is, Frank. Good job by him. Manages to grab his third of the search. And Vitalize already down a man. So this Search and Destroy compared to the game they played yesterday, it looks as though Cryptic do definitely seem to be putting up a much bigger fight. Absolutely, and I think there's something, uh, there's an element of complacency almost about how Vega and Zyro move about the map. There's, they, they, they genuinely, I think, they believe that they can, they can just, they can gun anyone with the pasty play. And uh, I think Cryptic have just slowed it down a bit, and it's starting to show in the uh, kind of map control a little bit. Oh, there so. we go, Frank, with another big one. Oh, nice couple of kills there coming through from the boys of Cryptic. So now it's all on Zyro, and we saw the sniper there. We're now on the side of Vitalize. I think it was Vega that had it in hand, but he's not going to be able to grab a pick. He is going to fall, so now Zyro's going to have to try and pull his finger out here in the 1v3. Here's the bomb going down, but much better round from Cryptic in terms of protecting that man on the bomb. And Cryptic regained the lead 2-1. And you look at the, 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 the kills that Cryptic have getting. They've got two players who are heavily negative, but they've just slowed the pace down. They've, they've decided to turtle a little bit, and they're, they're just picking off the faster players from uh from vitalize so this is about mid map you know trans the transitions we talked about can can vitalize you know mix it up now they did it yesterday are they going to do it today yeah we saw a couple of uh different attempts from vitalize in terms of attacking the bomb site so we'll see if they do something differently here vega only three and two bomb in hand but it looks as though again they're going to try and push out this left hand side you've got Ka uh, kaiser all the way at the back and he manages to grab the first blood here so the aggression coming through from Vitalize is just being met by good positioning from Cryptic. Zyro is going to manage to take down one as they try and get in towards that A bomb site. They're just trying to clear it out for the time being. You can see how passive Cryptic are, and unfortunately, Kaiser are not going to be able to grab any more as he will drop. So now Frank and Vitality left in the 2v3, but Ghost pushes out, just tries to push the angle a little bit too far, and he gets taken down. He's made to pay for it, and oh, Frank, oh, the pre fight. It just unfortunately got a little bit trigger happy there. See what he decides to do here. He's actually going to try and stick the bomb here. Vega's got to be quick because he's halfway through. The progression's coming through. Oh, he's actually going to hop off a bit. The worst timing ever. He's on the bomb and Vega flies through and he manages oh, to grab oh. both players off of the bomb and vitalize oh, what seemed like a potential round loss ends up with them tying it up two to two. Now, this is what we were saying about the pace of Vega. He's an absolute wild man with that SMG. I honestly thought Cryptic played that so well. They, uh, they, uh, but hats off to Vitalize. They didn't respond um, to the to the to the death over towards the side of Grannies. They just had to, to try to push out, and it was a uh, great play by Vega in the end. Yeah, really, really big round. You feel in the uh, the grander scheme of things, if Cryptic slowly start to get a bit of momentum and push some of these. Uh... These rounds out, grab a bit of a cushion going into it. Do favour them and another first blood by another vitalised push where they, potentially they don't really need to, to be honest. They've done it a couple of times where they've given Krypton the free pick and to be fair to them, they are playing right into their game at the moment and uh, it's they're making it work, Pablo. 
Yeah, absolutely. At the minute, the 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 gun skill of Vega and Zero, and potentially Ghost is what's keeping Vitalize in this. But the strategy is all cryptic. They've slowed it down. They've got map control right across middle, and they're happy to just wait. They're happy to just find a pick. And uh, and it's at the minute, it's even keel. But I I can see cryptic taking this. Honestly, I can see if they they maintain this and don't get too uh too wrapped up in the pace of the game, I can see them doing well on this. If Vitality comes into the game a bit more. Yeah, and the bomb is going to go down. It looks as though Vitalized, they've uh, just adapted a little bit. Oh, no, that's cod timing for you. Ghost has just ran straight past one. Zyro is going to manage to grab one kill, but Fatality is just still anchoring out the back, and there's the kill that comes through for Sharpster. So now it's all going to be down on Ghost. 1v3, and although they played it patiently, unfortunately, they just had no control over towards that B bomb site. So now Ghost has got a mountain to climb here. He's got to get the defuse, and he's got to take down three players potentially here if he's going to try and do it. And with these players now, I think they've got the info where he is. He might get shot in the side any second now because Frank is coming around the corner. And never mind, his teammate grabs the kill anyways. And Cryptic with another strong offensive round. Yeah, again, wild cod time and over towards field as uh, Ghost would just, you know, Ghost by name, Ghost by nature, mate. And he just <laughs> made his way across field silently without being spotted. But uh, not enough. And, and a 1v3 in this game is going to be almost impossible. It's just so fast. And the time to kill is just not in that player's favour at all. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see if uh, Vitalize actually slow their pace down a little bit here because they've gifted so many first bloods away. So we're going to round number six now. And Cryptic with that one round advantage as they are now back on the defensive side and Vitalize, they are stacking the hell out of this A point. It looks as though they're still going to stick to what they know, aggression and nothing but. And see where the first blood potentially lies. Juicy. His teammate is getting the bomb down, but he has got help. Oh, he sees the bomb open, the door open, though, and he manages to take down one. There's still some players near and around them as Juicy. Oh, he actually gets a team kill onto Zyro. Vega will manage to pick one off, but now it's a 2v3. And uh, surprisingly, look where Ghost is all the way around the back, watching the push, but now Sharpstar takes down one. He will get traded out, and now Fatality, the last man up, 1v2. Again, just going to be down, see if he can try and make the play here. Up against Ghost and Vega. Vega's just waiting on the bomb. And he flies. Is he going to spot him? Oh, Vega, nope. Spots him and vitalize. A good round. A much better round, should I say, from them. And they managed to tie it up once again, Pablo. Free all. Yeah, this is a back and forth. And this is this is what we wanted to see. This is a battle of strategies. And with the pace the vitalized play, that their players are so, like, so on, on hype that they're getting team kills, just reaction team kills. Um, and that that was a straight up shot. He, he saw the player come around the corner and just destroyed them, and it was his own player. But yeah, this is a this is definitely a, a matchup of of very different strategies. Uh, a team willing to turtle a little bit, willing to just peek and get first bloods, and a team that's just a hundred percent going for that bomb plant. Yeah, and uh, it looks as though Kaiser's going to try and get the bomb down again. But that first blood is going to be the all-important one. And this time, Vega manages to grab it. And Zyro grabs one as well. So a good defensive round here from Vitalize. Leaves them two lives to the better. And it looks as though... Oh, Ghost, he's going on a bit of a flank here. He might be able to spot the remaining two. He spots one. There's the other. So he knows there's two players. And they manage to carve them both down and Vitalize. That was a good round from them. A very convincing one. I don't think anyone dropped either. So 4-3 now they lead. Yeah, that was the strategy that we'd been waiting to see from Vitalize that we saw yesterday. Um, just a lot more control, getting those picks, getting into position rather than just kind of like barreling through the map. Got the positions, got the picks, and now they're 4-3 up. Yeah. And this is a worry. If you are Cryptic Gaming, this is the worry. Yeah, because you feel if, if Vitalize can switch it up and play it slowly, those rounds that they've played it more patiently and played for the picks have definitely like, benefited them a lot better. So you can feel if... Uh... If Cryptic just keep playing slow and steady, it might be something that Vitalize cotton onto here and saying that. In goes Vitalize. Vega manages to grab one onto Sharps, the first blood. Oh, but Fatality manages to grab a double up top and Frank manages to grab one as well. So it's just, it's like yo-yo yeah. search and destroy at the moment. We have one round which seems to be Vitalize taking it slow and carefully. And one round like that where they just fly through and it just doesn't pay off and Cryptic make them pay. Made great play from Frank. He uh, pushed down that trench side, never got spotted. We had, um, I think it was Vega watching mid and he just didn't see him. He was able to get round. There was a bit of a gunfight towards mid. And I think once that player dropped, and I think it was Vega, that's game over. Then I think what did Vega's the talisman of the team and um, they just, they just destroyed them. It was crazy. The back and forth and the pace of this SD can be wild at times. So now in towards round number nine, we go four rounds apiece here. 
between these two. Vega going strong at 10 and 4. And again, it's another cryptic, pragmatic approach here. They're playing it patiently, and Frank gets the first blood. So a good search here from Frank means that his team are now going to start trying to work their way up. But there's a glide bomb coming through. It isn't going to connect with anyone. I think it was Vega that was calling it in. But with all those buildings, it's not going to pay off. They're not going to get a pick vitalized here. So that streak is now gone. And uh, you could argue, Pablo, I suppose, on a map like this with those buildings over towards the A site, unless a team's committing to B, the glide bomb isn't really a, uh, an easy streak to use. Yeah, it's probably... And I mean, I don't know whether it's down to, to laziness or what, whether they're going to change out. They're very limited to what streaks they can choose anyway. So I suppose you've got it there in the tank if they go push towards B, but no, not a great, not a great use there, but... Great yeah. play as well. Yeah, Vitalize there. They uh, they had the man down, and then we saw three kills just come in quick succession. Vega on the kill count once again pushes himself out to 13 and 4. Now, as we go into walls, is what is pretty much going to be a game deciding or map deciding round, should I say, here for Cryptic. They can't afford yep. to drop any more. And uh, the uphill battle now is going to be quite important for them here now, especially just in the series as a general. Yeah, absolutely. I and mean, I'm going to try and avoid starting them sentences that I can't finish. <laughs> <laughs> but um, yeah, Vega just absolutely carry and vitalize on his shoulders at the minute. Um, a, gre a great way from Cryptic across the board um, to, to stay in this game and be in this game. And what a great strategy as well. And this is something the vitalize might need to think about if they do come out of this, this uh, game with the win. Yeah, and... Unfortunately, I believe it was Sharpster up top. He couldn't actually open the window, so a lot of vitalized players managed to cross over towards the bomb. But Zyro, oh, he's been caught with his pants down a little bit there, trying to get the bomb down. But now Sharpster, after Juicy and Vega both get kills, he's the last man up, and they've got to stay alive. They can't do it, and Vitalize, they are going to manage to take map number two as well. 6-4 in the search and destroy. Not the most convincing from those lads compared to what we've seen, but they managed to get it done nonetheless. I just with these kind of plays, you just can't tell whether they're just a, a trying different strategies. I think they've got the measure of the the team's gun skill, and I think, you know, Vegas still dropping fifteen kills in a game that they they didn't play particularly well. So that that's that's going to be uh, not going to bode well for the other teams in this group when it comes to playing. I think Vitalizer looking really strong, but that is not the score. If you are a cryptic gaming fan that you wanted to see going into a Tuscan hard point, you did not want to see a two zero to Vitalize at this point because they are incredibly cracked when it comes to hard points so this is the biggest this is we've said it before this is where the, the measure of a team really comes into play what kind of regain can you do i mean what kind of strategy can a team like cryptic game and take into a, a hard point against the team that are, that are this quick and, and and play as a team this quickly yeah they've got a lot to uh a lot to make up for here in this hard point as you mentioned the pacing will probably benefit vitality here they've got kind of a set game plan that they tend to go with in terms of aggression and they tend to stick with it to be fair and so far it has paid off the search and destroy a little bit closer than uh, they probably would have hoped for but as we uh, are now lobbying up in towards our map number three guys which is going to be tuscan hardpoint and uh, they are now going to need the reverse sweep here our uh, cryptic gaming and i'm sure all their fans will be praying for it starting here on this uh, tuscan hardpoint but they're going to have to uh, come out flying that's for sure yeah, absolutely. Um, and we've said that it could be four, and we'll say it again, I'm sure, for the next at least three or four weeks. It's early days uh, in the season. There's still plenty of time to practice those strategies and come back. But um, yeah, they, they've got an uphill struggle. But it, it's not it's not, it's not, not impossible. We've seen it before. We've seen it. They definitely can shoot back. So um, every possibility that they might be able to make a comeback. I'm yeah. entirely sure myself, mate. I'm still going to hold on to that 3-0. Yeah, if you're a, if you're a betting man, you're probably going with Vitalize. Um, yeah, it's just we... it's just a case of if they can keep those players quiet, really, in terms of kills. You feel? Yeah, I think after last night where we saw um, Fastru dominate like really early on for like 30, 40 seconds in that P1, yeah. which is what you expect out of a team with with good gun skill. But um, as soon as the the rotation started to take effect, and you see those strategies come out, and you see that communication, the the especially from a dominant side like Vitalize, I just don't think there's any way back. You you can't roll and two hard points on the road. Even if Cryptic Game are able to get this hard point, they've got to maintain that pace into the next hard point, and that's I think it's too much to ask. Yeah, I mean we didn't see Vitalize play a Bokash hard point yesterday, but you feel. If it's anything like their others, it's going to be at least a very strong map for them. So 
these uh, cryptic lads are going to have to come out far in here. And as mentioned, they are currently sat even in the group at three wins, three losses. They're still going to try and push for this fourth win here, but it's going to have to start on the Tuscan hardpoint here for the reverse sweep, guys. If you did miss map number one and map number two, it was 250 to 123 to vitalize on the Berlin hardpoint and 6-4 in the search and destroy that we've just seen. So um, they've got plenty to play for, and it looks as though we are now getting in towards our third map here. Tuscan hardpoint is going to be the scene here. And uh, yeah, they're definitely going to need to pull something out of the bag here. Cryptic Gaming, because they've got a hill to climb, and they've got a lot of players on the other team that are going to look to try and stop them, Pablo. <laughs> Yeah, absolutely, and I think if anything vitalizes experience against the Basu yesterday, it's only going to make them more dangerous on this P1, and we can see it already. They've got that that control early on, which they didn't have yesterday, and I think, you know, this, this is a clever team who are going to learn, and you can already see that that kind of dominance. They're controlling um, not just the kill, but the control in mid, so they're already thinking about P2 with 30 seconds remaining, which is uh, hats off to them, man. They're, 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 they're definitely a very good side. Yeah, no, they've... Uh... They've started to amalgamate a bit of a lead already here, Vitalized, and they've got number three, Zyra, in the back. But good work by Cryptic. They do at least manage to get him out for the time being, and Fatality, you do feel this is some important time here. If he can manage to stay down, he does have the help of Kaiser near him, but unfortunately he will fall. So now it's going to be down to Vitalize to try and work their way through the back, try and clear these players out. Kaiser still locked up in position, and oh god, Vega has just won a gunfight, which he had no right to win. Frank is going to manage to take Zyro down, but Cryptic, they've still at least got the man out the back in the form of Kaiser. But that 30 point big, lead now. Big win from Frank the tank over towards the hill there, big Frank. Yeah, they've got still... that kill on Zyro, so important. Yeah, and they've now got the man flying around the back. Vega, the man looking to try and put the dagger in here. Currently 6 and 2, so a hot start from him. And already, look at the rotation that is coming round. Yeah. Every team just seems to be going round and round in circles through the back. They do get kills vitalized, but Cryptic, they're in the back, kind of get the kills, and all the important ones seem to go in their favor, at least for the time being. So they're still spawning relatively close. Vitalize coming through from that middle point. They're going to have to try and flood in for the time being. And they do get some kills, but Fatality, Sharpster, combined for two. Sharpster adds the fourth on top and a good hold there from him. Ooh. And wow, nice shots from him with the, uh, with the AR. Triple. Man, that was a big triple. And I think Vitalize just got uh, um, a little bit upset by the, the spawns there. They got like split spawns. So even though they had hill control, they kind of spawned over towards Church. And that just allowed Cryptic Gaming to just come around the back, back and dominate. So really, really unusual spawn moment. But wow, what a what a moment from Sharps and T to put himself five and four. Yeah, and although Cryptic, they did get some strong hill time. Vitalize are now locked into position here. They do manage to at least get the man off the hill. And we saw this yesterday. With the game, Pablo, you can have players that kind of, they get the dominance out the back, they get the spawns, but it's just, oh no, oh no, I think we're going to see an assassination. Oh, okay, Zero. <laughs> I think he got a little bit nervous there. He almost managed to completely whip that one, but they've still got Juicy out the back. The players are still spawning relatively close, but they haven't got a huge amount of time on this hill. We saw it again yesterday, as mentioned, but um, they are going to now get the man on the hill, Vitalize, going to push that lead out just a little bit further. Again, this is such a weird hill. It's almost like a P1 where you see that like ability to just contest and never. It's really difficult to get a good strangle hold on it. But um, and this is another huge moment where you get this 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 long transition over towards um, kind of uh, church. And it, it's just it's a it's a, a good moment for Cryptic Gaming if they can just you know get control of this church. And we saw this yesterday with the fast route. This is the one hill they were able to get points on against Vitalize. So whether whether the guys from Cryptic Gaming have, have been able to watch any of the, the VOD back, but this is definitely a hill that they can take points from from Vitalize. Yeah, and it's uh, one of those hills where it's like how how long do you commit for the spawns? Because already 30 seconds have gone. There hasn't been a huge amount of time going in favor of either team as they're just flooding it in between them. Fatality gonna be the last man in the hill. He's going to drop and vitalize with a nice break, putting Ghost out at 12 and 5. And this is where we saw the momentum swing as well yesterday, Pablo, where vitalize on this hill. They started off a little bit slow in terms of slaying, but when they started to get these players heat up, as they are starting to do a little bit now, they were on a combined six streak there just before Ghost dropped. But when they start getting the kills, it's when they start to really stack up a big amount of points. Yeah, especially when you see start to see Vega and Zero go off. When Zyro goes off, he's presently 8 and 11, so struggling for, for his kind of quality. But once he starts picking up those kills, that's if you're a Cryptic Gamer fan, that's when you need to start worrying because he can rack those kills up in no time, and that those kills are going to mean streaks. So, uh, you know, it's going to be important that the guys from Cryptic Gamer are able to, to, to kind of like take down these players as soon as possible. Yeah, we'll now see 
Juicy starts to push his way underneath here. I'm surprised we didn't see any cryptic players try and get control of low, because when teams get big chunks of time on this hill, it's usually with a presence underneath, and Vega proves just yeah. why he manages to take the man off the hill. And now vitalized with around a 60 point lead and growing. This is starting to look a bit dangerous here for Cryptic. As Vega flies around the corner, he's only managed to pick off one, but everyone has dropped apart from Fatality, who's going to look to try and get the remaining scrap time, but Zyra has absolutely none of it. And he might manage to get another kill here. Nice shots from him onto Kaiser and Vitalize. They're pushing this lead out even further as we go over towards that second P1, but that hill is slowly getting steeper and steeper. Yeah, if you think Zyro's um, only been killed twice in the last few seconds, and he's, he's got three or four kills, so Zyro's just starting to warm up, which is a, a concern if you're a Cryptic Gamer fan. But if Vitality doing well in this round, you know, he's been quiet for the last two games, 17-11 um, right now, and, and this is the kind of player, you know, wants to, uh, wants to motivate and maybe inspire his team to, uh, to, to just play a little bit better, a little bit quicker, and be a little bit more accurate. Yeah, it's just a case now for Cryptic Gaming where... They're not really breaking into the hills as efficiently as they might have liked, but at the same time, they can't afford to just keep giving scrap time up, time after time. Vitalize, they've got a dominant foothold on this hill as Juicy manages to cut down a couple more. It's only Ammo that's going to get the better of him on that occasion as he runs out of bullets there to put into the lads in purple. And Vitalize are now slowly again edging their way up to that 200 point mark with Cryptic still trailing, not even on the 100 point mark. Kaiser's going to grab a couple, but Vega, some important kills. He's got another big one-on-one, -on -one potentially. He's actually just going to decide to go all the way around the back shots. The good reads, though, is going to spot him, and they do manage to take him down. So at least Cryptic will have the rotation for the next hill, but they just need to hold strong, because Vitalize, every single time they throw bodies at it, Pablo, they just seem to break it. I think one of the problems the Cryptic Gaming guys are seeing is that they've been feeding a hill one player at a time. There's not been any any successful trades in the last two hills. Um, but the guys from Vitalize are just there for each other all the time. And this is the, the hill previously where Cryptic Gaming looked like they were going to get a good hold on it and they, they just fluffed it. So this is another big moment, really. I think we're still just in enough time for the guys from Cryptic to turn this around. But, you know, give the boys from Vitalize another 20 seconds and, and they're going to relax a little bit. I think it's going to be a 3-0. Yeah, and they keep going on these streaks here as individuals vitalize where they just pick two players off at a time in quick succession and it just seems to halt every single push that cryptic seem to be pushing in towards the hill but that's a lot better there from them there's a big gunfight on the hill but again it's gonna be a vitalized player in vega that wins the all-important gunfight and juicy he's out the back he's anchored in position kaiser's gonna try and at least get him out of this point and it's a really important kill if he gets it. he does get it but again the reinforcements are there from vitalize so now, can they do a better job of getting players on the hill? Sharps is just going to tuck himself away in the corner, but there is also potentially a player here in number three, Zyro. He might be able to take down a couple here. They're not going to expect him. He's only going to manage to grab one, but they're still at the back, Vitalize. But still another hill that we saw in the first rotation, Pablo, where no one's really getting a huge amount of time. Ghost will now get on it, but this is now getting a little bit uh, worse for wear here for Cryptic because uh, Vitalize, they're slowly adding these points up. Yeah, this is such a weird hill to have in, in, in kind of like the middle of the of a, a rotation. This is like such a difficult hill to try and control. We're seeing such a, a good side like Vitalize not able to control um, against the team they're dominating. So this is this is definitely a moment. This is probably the last moment for Cryptic Gaming to really get a foothold back in the game. But man, I just want to point out Ghost is going off. He's 31 and 12. He's an absolutely storming game. Um, and this is a player who was doing all that dirty work and not putting up big numbers yesterday. Day, so we are seeing Jekyll and high performances from Ghost. Yeah, big numbers coming through from Vitalize from a couple of players. Vega's also doing pretty well at 28 and 21. So now Cryptic, they are going to amass 100 points finally after what feels like an absolute eternity from them. Ghost is going to manage to grab a couple of kills as they're looking to try and flood their way through once again. The teamwork is coming through for Vitalize. The last man in the hill is Frank the Tank and he's going to manage to pick off one. Oh, but him and his teammate again, Vega, manages to cut down two apiece as him and Ghost now combine for 10. Ghost on a sixth streak. He's not fully streaked out, but he's now got his seventh in a row. His second streak has now managed to be accumulated and wow, Ghost is just single-handedly cutting them down and as every second passes, Pablo, you We're feel about cryptic. to see a 40 bomb, mate. We are about to see a 40 bomb for the first time this season. I cannot wait. And it's EU Ghost, someone we kind of derided as being a, a dirty player. So not a dirty player, but, a, <laughs> but a, you know, does the dirty work. He's a dirty player. Um, <laughs> does that dirty work. But um, hats off, man. 37 and 13. He's got all those streaks. Um, and we said it earlier on, if they didn't get that, that PV hill, this is, uh, this is this is pretty much game over for Cryptic Gaming. Yeah, now Vitalize, where they've just got such a cushion, they can afford to rotate quickly. 
And everyone is there, ready and waiting. Number four, Vega, though, isn't going to manage to stop the first push, but now out the back, Juicy's coming on. A bit of a flank here, takes down one. Can he take down the second, though? Fatality is going to stay alive and at least postpone what could be their last map here in this series. Zyro, in he flies, but he catches a nade straight to the face. Sharps with a big kill, and now in the hill, Frank needs to try and stay alive, but Juicy, the aggression, he flies around the corner. Ten seconds remaining for Cryptic to keep their hopes alive here in this Group B game as Ghost manages to take down one. Number six, Sharpster, it all lies on him. Can he even touch it? No, he can't. And Vitalize, they are going to manage to take the map. They're going to take the series as well, and they are going to win it. 250 to 108 in that game, and 3-0 in the series. We see it again, man. This team are just on the real EU Ghost going off in, in Tuscan Hardpoint. Something we didn't expect to see at the start of the game, but this is a what a performance right there. 41 and 14 with five assists. Just outstanding performance from the Ghost. Um, Vega, for me, probably man of the match. He carried um, Vitalize on his back in the S and D, and he went absolutely off in that bail on Hardpoint. But Major, what a performance again from Vitalize. Just a pleasure to see them playing just so well. And, you know, having to make that transition in, in the middle of S&D because they were getting played quite heavy by Cryptic Gaming when they started turtling. So, yeah, hats off to them and a well-deserved 3-0. Yeah, really good performance there again from Vitalize. That is going to see them push out to 4-0 and in the group. We will just quickly switch over to you guys if you haven't seen what this Group B is shaping up like. So Team Wanted, Team Supremacy, and Vitalize along with the good. They are all unbeaten currently as Vitalize push themselves out to 4-0. and oh, So that will push them up in towards that third place spot, I believe. And unfortunately for Cryptic, they will now be three wins and four losses. Um, but this Vitalize team, those games up against Wanted and Supremacy, they could be very, very interesting games, Fabo, because uh, those top three, potentially a top four, if good, manage to uh, push their way up as well. It's going to look like a tight end to the group. Mate, I am absolutely excited for that. That I wanted supremacy vitalize. You know, those those set of games are going to be superb. I'm really interested to see what players are playing for those two teams as well, and just so we can get an idea of kind of like how those matchups are going to go. But right now, Vega, Prof, Zero, and Ghost look like an awesome um, four man. They they just look reasonably unstoppable. Um, a little bit of. Um, Mid, mid game transition you know they, they're able to strategize in the middle of the SD just to, to just to get back into the game from from kept the game and who did really well but their hard point is almost flawless you know they we saw it yesterday where they went into tuscan and they dropped 40 seconds straight away they go into this tuscan and they they've learned overnight you know you know get control of that first hard point and they just never took they never took the foot off the gas at all this series and when we thought they might turtle in Bukhara's chess and D they just didn't they did the opposite and went faster again yeah. wild plays seems like they go to a slower game mode and they think you know what what better to take a slow game mode on with than, uh, than an absolute rapid amount of pace and it's uh it's shown for them here because that uh, they have done a, another dominant performance so vitalize if you did miss the other maps guys they managed to take map one one uh, 250 to 123 on berlin hardpoint 64 in the search and 250 to 108 in that tuscan hardpoint we'll see them move to four and O oh in the group here this es eu league group b game and uh what Pablo I mean we might catch them again at some point in the coming days but uh it'll be interesting to see how they get on and uh even if they do progress further on they're looking like a solid team but it takes two to make a good series cryptic unfortunately for them they weren't able to grab a map off of them that search and destroy could have gone either way I think in certain stages they had moments where it looked as though they were starting to understand how Vitalize were playing and then Vitalize would just come back with another really fast round that they just happened to win. So it's not the be or end all for them. They can take a lot from it, um, but it's just unfortunate for them that they weren't able to at least grab one map in this one. Yeah, 100%. I, I think that they, they can learn a lot from that s and I think they were just unfortunate. I think it just came down a little bit to gun skill. Vega and Zero were just... They're just so good, and that, in those like, those situations, even when they're set up and the strategy is working and they're on headies and that, that you know, we saw it. We saw it in Berlin Hardpoint. Zero had no right to take Frank off a, a heady that he was on on, on steps, and uh, and it, it just happened again in the S and D. So. A lot of work to do for Cryptic Game and back to the drawing board a little bit on hard points, but definitely a lot to take away from the S&D. Vitalize, though, like we can see that they're developing. They, they, they changed it up from yesterday. They were able to get that, that P1 on, on Tuscan and get those early early seconds. Yeah. So they weren't, they weren't fighting like as hard as they were yesterday against the fast route. So, yeah, 
an, an awesome performance, man. Really, really well done. Yeah, 100%. And uh, so, guys, that will be our one and only game for the evening from myself and Pablo. A big shout out to uh, Mr. Pablo for joining me. It's a pleasure, as always, to uh, have you on the mic, brother. <laughs> Man, I just want to say, like, people don't realise how much work that, that Chafin puts into setting these things up. Literally, like, 35 minutes of, of grunting and sweating in the background to try and get his OBS set up, all the videos set up and everything. And I'm, like, sat back on the seat just lounging. But, yeah, mate, always a pleasure and um, awesome work as ever from uh, the EU's top caster right here. Thank you very much, man. It's always a pleasure to be with you. I can't get away with blushing now because I've got the face cam, so I've got to be careful. I was talking about me. <laughs> <laughs> <Got him. laughs> so yeah guys that will uh, that will be it from myself and pablo a big shout out as well to es hub for having us on the cast an absolute yeah, pleasure absolutely. to uh, cast over Thank these you. kind of tournaments and these kind of leagues so a big shout out to uh, all the guys over at es hub who helped us set it up and get everything going hopefully as well as mentioned we will be able to bring you guys some more coverage of the future and other group games that are going on um, as we start to narrow down who is potentially going to top their groups and as we start to progress through this tournament um, hopefully we can uh, bring you guys some more coverage but as mentioned that is going to be it from myself and Pablo so a big thanks to all of you who have tuned in and been in the chat don't worry we have seen you we have seen you I've been keeping my eye on every so often so a big thank you guys for tuning in and uh, we will catch you hopefully in the near future so big thanks again guys and we will catch you shortly